what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and today is an actual cooking video i've been wanting to do a cooking video i just didn't know what the to cook you know what i'm saying like i mean what would be interesting to actually make so i'm like you know what let me make something i've never made before fresh spring rolls it's a Vietnamese food if i fucked up your country's name i'm sorry it's very very simple so that's why i actually decided to cook this i want to say i really appreciate the love and everyone that has been watching my videos likes commenting resharing i really really am grateful and thankful for that the only place i've tried the fresh spring rolls is at 424 on buford highway if you live in atlanta you uh you probably know what that is the person who i actually see makes it a lot is eat with kim you guys should go follow her on youtube her name is eat with kim you just be rolling that shit up i'm actually gonna make shrimp and steak spring rolls and with the actual um sauce that it comes with which is like a peanut butter sauce and you put like hoisin sauce and stuff like that in that crap that shit is so bombs so y'all please if you're here watching my video why not just subscribe right now you get what i'm saying why not just subscribe right now on the top bottom left right side middle wherever it is press the subscribe button just pulled up to the farmer's market who else is tired of wearing this shit the one thing i do hate about it is i get all the way to the door of the store or where i'm going to and i'm like fuck my mask if this is saving lives i guess this is what we gotta do right my ghetto list of the ingredients i need for the spring rolls got the phone got the keys let's go all right about to take y'all along with me to find all this stuff i need our handy dandy notebook and we need chopped lettuce leaves if anyone sees the chopped lettuce leaves, just let me know. Just let me know. Because I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> we just gonna go for this. And this is my first time making it, so I think I, I gotta pass on that. And this is my favorite. Let's see. So they say black people love grape. So I'm gonna get grape. I love mango. And I'm gonna get one more. Let's see. Next on the list is, now we need the actual rice noodles that goes inside. I can't find the actual noodles that you need for the spring rolls. Rice noodles right here. So, it's just, this is just gonna have to do. Ooh, look at this. Do y'all see this? This looks literally like glass. Y'all can't even see it. I'm jealous. This is not fair. I can I just want everything I want. To. Get the shrimp and beef steaks that we need. I ain't gonna lie, I am slick nervous, but what you wanna look for is like the thin ones, thin pieces like this, you know, and you can like cut them up. Other people, they don't even do like the basics. Some people do like squid, octopus, all different kinds of shit you can put in these spring rolls. But I'm gonna just keep it simple, just call it a day. This is the reason why as a kid, the farmer's market used to freak me out. So I'm thinking if I should get some fresh shrimp and like peel them myself. I should just go to the frozen aisle, get something like this. Honestly, would it matter? What do y'all think? Comment below. Should I get the fresh or should I get the frozen? I really want y'all to comment below. Even though I'm gonna pick it before y'all comment, just comment below and see if you was right. Let me know. So if you comment below, I should get the fresh. You won. Anybody gonna help me? Do I gotta really take a number? Just a pound. Got my shrimp so we have the beef we got our shrimp we got our lettuce and we got our noodles now for the most interesting part is wrap that we use to wrap these up with that one is interesting because you got to like wet it up gotta let it sit for a little wrap it up and it gets sticky you gotta find where it's at Hello. oh i can't come to the farmer's market without getting a pack of these don't want to get a whole pack they have it in the cups every flavor i'm telling y'all these sam yang noodles bro let me catch y'all on real quick they also have it in rice cakes i'm telling y'all trust me i know what i'm talking about so you guys know when i said i found the wrong noodles well this is what i need right here this is exactly what i need these are the rice papers you roll them into got a square shape got the circle shape they got some, I don't know what that is, but they got that. 
Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. For $1.99. They definitely cheap, not bad. So I'm gonna go put the noodles back that I thought I could use, but I found the real ones. Last thing on our list is, y'all can't see that, but it's poison sauce. Poison sauce, it's like a little sweet sauce. I know like mostly when I eat pho, I put that in there. You add that to the dip for your spring rolls. I'm walking to get the hoisin sauce and I stop because I see this. Everybody that know me know I love mayonnaise. And by the way, if you don't want the noodles version of those Sam Young noodles, they actually have the actual sauce. You can eat it with like anything else. But bruh, I'm kind of tempted to try it out. So we'll have to save that for another video. I think we got everything. I'm about to go check out. And I think I just gotta stop at another store just to grab some few utensils and things I need. I made it out alive. Let's get these groceries in here. Finally, we back. Let me lock these doors because y'all know they're stealing cars out here in Atlanta, y'all. Be safe. Your doors locked and keep your eyes open. <laughs> I'm at Taco Bell right now to try Midnight Berry Freeze. I already fuck with the uh, Baja Freeze. Hopefully they got it. Happy hour ends at five. And I'm about almost 20 minutes late. I could have got it for a dollar, but it's all good. $2.75. Maybe having some attitude problems. I already knew it was gonna be good. To be honest, I didn't even want to really show y'all. I just wanted to get this shit myself. <laughs> now it's time to season the shrimp and the beef. I don't know if I should drink some wine. Nope. Y'all comment down below. Did I do the wine or did I do the Tito's? of the rice paper, dip it in warm water, blah, blah, blah. Sit at boiled seafood, me, da, 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 da. All right. This is my first attempt making the shrimp one. I think it's better than nothing. It looks like I'm more better at rolling the beef ones because this one looks real, what it really is. I'm about to make the sauce and I grabbed me some peanut butter. I'm gonna melt the peanut butter so it can be a little more sauce because you know peanut butter is really thick. Or you can see the peanut butter is melted. It kind of like shit. Sorry, sorry, I know we. This is about food. And now I'm gonna add the poison sauce. Just to give it a little kick, I'm gonna add this red hot sweet and chili. Okay, don't eat them, don't eat them.